move that. You know, it's funny. Over. You made me update my Skype, and now I can't see myself. <laughs> well, Usually, I have a little window where I can see myself, so I can see if I'm making a really stupid face. Now I'm in the dark. <laughs> well, the Damn reason it. the reason I had you update Skype is because, uh, ladies and gentlemen, or my audience, because I don't think the ladies and gentlemen. Can um, we've got a special guest joining us here tonight for, uh, for What the Fuck is Wrong with You Live, and, uh, he, he does not have a webcam, but he is here with us in audio. Um, you all may know him. He, he does a website that, I don't know, you guys may visit sometimes, uh, it's actually, it, what? Might have heard of it. Yeah, I know. Is, isn't it actually, isn't the website actually named for him? Do you know one of the characters he does, I think? Maybe? I think so. Yeah. I mean, I went there like once. Well, well, maybe they know it. Maybe back I'll in just... the nineties before it was cool. Um, everybody, it's it's here we go. We have Doug Walker. Doug, are you here with us? I'll get you next time, Nash. <laughs> <laughs> wow. since, since since they cannot see my uh, picture, I'm going to be Doctor Claw now. <laughs> That's because you never see Doctor Claw. Claw. Yes, Can indeed. Penny, if we're doing that. Nash has to be the cat. Meow, Nash, meow. <laughs> Mad Dude, cat. Meow. meow like a kitty. Hit yourself on the head. No, now I'm sounding like Batman. <laughs> I don't wear hockey pants. Do you My have a boss, question for everyone. Batman, Nash? Would you like to ride with Batman Citizen? This, my, uh, my boss, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Not yep. anymore, you're fired. Oh, well, Eddie, I'm, well, I guess as, as this will probably be the last show I do, um, we're, Does uh, that mean I'm fired too? Cause yeah. I'm just your sidekick. Yeah, I guess you're fired you, too. No, no, no. You, you can stay as long as you swear to me. <laughs> awesome. I'm in. But there is swearing on the show, right? I want to. Yeah. Wanna... There's so much swearing on the show. All of the swearing. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I will swear to you all night and day. Cock ass dick whore. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Batman, <laughs> Always PG-13. The Joker, he couldn't even sip champagne. It was weird. This was a great idea on my part. Yeah, it was. I, I try. I try. Okay, it, it really is me in case anyone's aware. Yeah. <laughs> you could have just hired a dick to just like... <laughs> and you voice. know... Really, he was just doing voices the whole time. It was really dug. <laughs> because, because you guys can't see him, just so you know, he is wearing his Link costume. He is. And he's wearing a skirt, yeah. Scottish traditional. Actually, Just, I had the weirdest, I had the weirdest costume come up to me the other day uh, at a convention. He was dressed as a uh, chained up Superman with Batman's head from the uh, Jack Frost review. I'm like, wow, that's the most obscure thing. There <laughs> like, was a guy at the at the website party at Comic Con that was like that went as like the alternate universe old man hobo Superman. Wow, the yeah. the, the one from Linkara's like, "I Am a Man" review. It. Yeah, and he I I didn't get the teddy bear though. Like he had a teddy bear with him. That I he still would... don't get the teddy bear. Linkar always carries around this teddy bear with like a rope around him and he has like a plant. Oh maybe that's why he had the teddy bear. The weird thing was he kept sitting it on top of like the division between the booth and the bar and turning it so the teddy bear would look at you, but he wasn't. <laughs> I I try to watch you know as many of his videos as I can, but I always miss whatever the hell the teddy bear thing is. I'm sure he's told me I just forget. <laughs> well, so, are you... Both now ready? that we've wasted all kinds of Nash's time. <laughs> are we Are we ready to do the news, everybody? Indeed. I'm never ready, but I will anyway. Okay. Ready. Let's get the intro rolling here. And, if it will play... Oh, you better. I just made a brand new intro for this segment. You better freaking play. <laughs> we could sing it. Doug, do you oh, know it's crazy? Here we go. It took forever. Each week, Catherine goes out in the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, and brings it back here. A segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And, Doug, yeah, oh, you can't see it, Tara, but you got your name on the titles now. Really? Yeah, you do. And, oh, right. and Catherine gets her credit there, too, because, you know, Yay, overdue. Catherine. Way Catherine overdue. It's not the same person as me. No. All right, let's. Multiple personalities or anything. Let's get started here. I'll send you guys the link so you can see the story. 
We're starting down in Florida, sadly enough. Of course we are. Oh, a confluence of things. In fact, this guy, he ups the ante. Uh, from Naples, Florida, shoplifted candlelight steak dinner foiled. A Florida man faces theft charges after allegedly trying to walk out of a store with the makings of a candlelight dinner stuffed down his pants. Collier oh. County Sheriff's Deputy say uh, Daniel Ashley, 31, of East Naples, was charged with retail theft after employees of a supermarket saw him trying to make off with four steaks and some candles. Ashley tried to run off without the loot, but the uh, was chased down by the grocers. Um, he, okay. I, gentlemen, if you're going to cook a woman a romantic dinner, that's wonderful. That's a lovely gesture. Do it. Do not tenderize the meat with your dick. Ah, uh, I know. I have a theory. Uh, personally, that's I not a marinade. I think uh, this guy, you know, he just saw a fortune cookie that said, you will receive a nice steak dinner, and then he added in your pants in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... And that's, the rest speaks for itself. That's not... Well, thank God he didn't add in bed. Because <laughs> then we'd really be in trouble. I just... He, presumably, he was bringing this back to someone. Yeah. Meaning he intended to take these steaks from his shorts and present them to someone as a romantic meal. Maybe well, hopefully he was not going to take them directly from his shorts and present them to someone. <laughs> oh god, I hope not. Hey honey! But how romantic! <laughs> Where's the beef? Oh, I'll show you. Oh. I got some surprise meat for you in my pants, baby. Yeah, she's not gonna think you mean steak. No. She's gonna run away. Even if she does think you mean steak, she's going to run away. It's true. Because, again, that's not marinade. Uh, God. Nor is it a decent dry rub. I well, can do this for a while. <laughs> what was that, Doug? Well, you need some barbecue sauce. Oh. Yes, what you do not need is white sauce. There are so many innuendos going on here, and I'm hating every single one of them. Innuendo is flying! Was that an innuendo? I don't, I don't think so. I'm Could be. I'm going to look up a dictionary right now. I'm just going to leave the show and see uh, what innuendo means. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just... And this this keeps happening. How many times? How many <laughs> stories? It keeps happening. A guy no, keeps you, doing steaks in his pants? You have no idea how many stories we've done about people with meat products stuffed in their trousers. This is like the fifth one. This is it's the a fucking chronic problem facing America today. This is the really? fifth. Yes. This is the Do fifth. Yes. Al Qaeda is no this? threat. It's the fucking pants shoplifters that are a threat. Well, we need a Sonic says about this, clearly. Uh, <laughs> Sonic has to come out and he has to say, hey, if you're going to put meat in your pants, that's no good. Seek help. Get a counselor. Or just not. <laughs> don't put meat in your pants. What the flying is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I know I don't usually swear, but I mean, good God, man. What are you doing? <laughs> you missed the one with the guy with the lobster. The live yeah. lobster. Yeah. He hid in his pants. Well, that doesn't shock me. Uh, you know, maybe he had crabs. Oh, <laughs> that would all set it. Nice. Ow. At that point, you got to stuff a fisherman down there, though. And that gets really hard to walk around. Well, moving right <laughs> along, um, we have more Florida and more inexplicable. And I, I, I don't think that was someone inexplicable. I think it was quite obviously what he was what he was doing. Well, you try and figure this shit out. Deputy finds man lurking in bushes. Carrying machete from Crestview, Florida. A 39 year old man caught lurking in the trees on the side of James Lee Boulevard with a flashlight and a machete uh, was charged with carrying a concealed weapon. A uh, deputy noticed him uh, shining a light through the trees on the roadside, saw a man dressed all in black with a hooded sweatshirt covering his head. Todd. No. Um, <laughs> he got out and confronted the man who said he was walking to the convenience store, quote, to purchase smokes. For his girlfriend. The deputy noticed the man was holding his right arm against his side. Man said he'd been bitten by a spider and was in a lot of pain. Okay, where do we begin? Well, obviously.
obviously he needed the machete to kill the spider. That's a manly way to kill a spider. And, you know, the flashlight was so that he could see his way to the convenience store. Of all the... <laughs> you know, if you get caught, I know this is so want to happen to so many of us on many occasions, if you find yourself in a tree, uh, in a sweatshirt, with a machete, and a flashlight in the middle of the night, and the deputy asks you where you're going... Um, try to come up with a convincing answer, because my girlfriend wants smokes. I'm not buying it, sorry. <laughs> Wait, I'm a little confused. Is it the girlfriend wants smokes, or he wanted to kill a spider? Or both. Maybe his maybe the spider is the girlfriend. Oh, there you go. And has to get a lot of cigarettes, because there's like eight arms, you know. And, and like a hundred babies. Yeah. Smoking for a hundred. Yeah. You guys are taking this to just a weird place. Oh, I'm sorry, because it started off at such a normal spot, you know? Yeah. Point. Every day. Point. No, clearly he's got to get a whole mess of cigarettes back home to his spider queen. He's feeding Charlotte's habit. Yeah. I think we're on to something here. I, I smell a book. I smell a spin-off book. <laughs> yes. Icky white. Right, this sucker. She, she at the very out, least, I she smell smells out what a really great big and fucked up slash fic. One at a time, kids. What, you, what were you doing, Dad? What did you say, Doug? Oh, I was saying that she just spells out what a great pig and smoke. Smoke. <laughs> I. How do you get to this point in your life? How does this? How does this have? How does this seem like a good way to spend your night? Somebody in the channel named the. Uh... Name the book already. Winged Beast calls it Harlot's Web. <laughs> nice. nice. I think we've got a winner. Nice. Well, was he wearing just a sweatshirt? Because, you know, holding wearing a sweatshirt in and of itself, isn't that egregious a thing? No, he's a sweatshirt, a hood, a machete, up a tree, flashlight. Normal stuff. They didn't say pants. They did they not say pants. pants. They did not say pants. So where's he keep the machete? Yeah. Well, if it's a hooded sweatshirt, it probably has one of those kangaroo pockets. I would think somewhere else, just given the <laughs> description <laughs> of it, but, uh, well, you know. Okay, um, all right, this next one. Have you ever been, to, have you been to a water park, Doug? Never. Isn't that weird? Never, Never. in my entire life. Except when I see a spider and I have to kill it with a machete. Mm. Exactly. Then it's like, hey, I want to go on a water park right now and get some smokes. Because I'm fucking nuts. Yes. Uh, Hope took me to a water park. And I yes. went... What? Wait, we mean the person, right? Not just Hope in general. No, the person, <laughs> Finally yes. Finally you found Hope to go yes. to a water park. The person who is my girlfriend, yes. I figured this way. Took, took me to the water park. And she's like, oh, get on this one. It'll be fun. You'll like it. And it was this big funnel-shaped thing that shot me around and around and shot me out. And when I think water slide, I'm, I think, wee. I don't think, oh, God, here comes breakfast. I don't, so, I, don't, I don't know that Hope would want you telling such detailed versions of your sexual exploits to everybody, Nash. Funny. Oh, my God, doing it on that thing? That would be awesome. It'd be very... <laughs> Hard to do, and just hard in general, but still. Yeah, well, now that you mention it, that's the story. Really? A frisky couple or a water slide caught having sex. Closed circuit television. Uh, staff, Aw, yeah. Staff at the attraction in Apoxo, Poland, must have thought of the phrase, get a room, never seem more appropriate than for when the frisky couple stripped off and started their amorous display. The woman was filmed straddling her boyfriend and starting to make love before the pair shot down the bright blue tunnel in what must have been a breach of the water park's rules. Um, in what must have been, I like that they didn't think to ask. So, is having sex on the water slide actually against the rules? Like, is I mean, you know, there's no specific rule against that. They're just going to have, like, a silhouette. You know how they have the silhouette of the crossed-off cigarette and the crossed-off food? There's just going to be one of two people doing it and a big axe over it now. No. 
what what position would they be in? Uh, well, obviously, this one, it, it sort of looks like the uh, they're swinging into each other, sort of. Yeah, look, uh, yeah. I'm going to get that on the big screen here, because that's just... That can't be comfy. <laughs> It just, uh, it, well, you know, and it looks like I, I she, I think it's a she, you know, is wearing something like from one of those, you know, dungeon places, like the mask that covers your whole face. It looks like she's wearing one of those. Like, could she really I just assume, get onto the slide wearing that? I assume they were both just wearing bathing caps. Oh, is it, oh, you know, that could be. It looks I like it's covering her whole face, though. Which is possibly the least sexy garment no, man. But I'm no, just I'm remembering my experience at the water park where it's it's like a freaking roller coaster without the car. And I'm just trying to envision that experience. That doesn't that's seem like that doesn't well, seem like fun to me. Backwards. And actually you're probably taking turns going backwards. That doesn't seem like fun. That seems like the opposite of fun. That seems like terrifying. That seems after this experience I could never envision wanting to fuck again because you'd get like flashbacks and shit. So, so it would ruin sex for you, not water slides. That's interesting. Tell me about that. Water slides are already ruined for me. Maybe she just couldn't get wet. What? Maybe she just couldn't get wet. Oh, water is not good. Oh, god damn. Damn. Especially not chlorinated water. No. This is ow. Mm-hmm. Ow. Everyone just sort of went. Ur. Yeah, the whole channel is very angry right now. <laughs> oh, that's splendid. Usually, I'm the one that does that. So, thanks. Good looking out. Who knows? I try. I try. <laughs> okay, so um, do you remember that scene in Raising Arizona? Where uh, the, the the John Goodman and the other bandit they have the baby and they're they rob the store and then they run away and they leave the baby on top of the car. Remember that? I have no idea where this is going, but continue. Um, well, in this is kind of a, a life imitates art going on here, um, and it's a trifecta for us. It's it's Florida, it's a Walmart, and it's bath salts. Oh no, 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 I don't want it. Um No. Hippo says no. <laughs> Kingsport couple on bath salts. Abandon four year old at Walmart. A lone four year old wandering into Kingsport Walmart at two thirty AM, followed by a call to the store from her mother nearly two hours later saying she quote lost her son this prompted the arrest of both parents. Police ultimately located the couple, along with another child, age one, in a van that ran out of fuel. Synthetic drugs were allegedly located in the vehicle, the father admitting they had been using bath salts and Lortab. What um, the hell is Lortab? I don't know. It sounds like Lorcat's brother. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Lorcat. Um... According to, let's see, um, store personnel reportedly found the four-year-old child had walked in the store by himself 20 minutes prior. View of the surveillance footage revealed the child was occupied by a man, a woman, and a toddler. The group was last spotted. She said she uh, was allegedly on the way back to location, the mother did, but had run out of gas. Okay. You know, so it's like the really, really redneck version of Home Alone. Yes. I just caveman. <laughs> of all the just of all the things to do, I understand people with kids. You like to drink sometimes, fine. You like to have a good time, fine. But even even with that legal stuff, you find a babysitter. If you're going to be drunk, if you are going to be out of your freaking mind drunk, you find a babysitter. You say, "Here, I'm going to be impaired." Watch my offspring. Generally, you also don't go to Walmart. No, you don't. You don't. I mean, maybe that's a thing, getting fucked up and going to Walmart. <laughs> but, I used to do that all the time. <laughs> oh, were good, and Walmart just seemed like a wonderland to me. <laughs> I, I imagine Walmart is a lot more entertaining if you are screwed up on synthetic hallucinogens. I'm... 
pretty sure it's it's a lot or better experience. A lot scarier. The smiley face tries to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> or a lot scarier because like roll think back. About the website, think about the website people of Walmart. Yes. Now think about running into the people of Walmart fucked up. I, mm, I feel like that's that's a recipe for a straight jacket right there. I love what, on the uh, the mug shots here. You know, you got the, the the mother just sort of looks like she should be shrugging, just like, eh, you know, eh. it happens. She's like, who among you has not gotten screwed up on fake LSD and left your kid at the mall mark? Who of you can judge me? Their names are Finehout and Fleenor. Finehout and Fleenor. They sound like characters out of a Tolkien novel. They do. <laughs> Jordan Finehout and Jessica Fleenor. Are they part troll? I am Fleenor. Give you <laughs> salt and lore top. This is actually I, my... Name your wild character Fleenor. Show hands. Well, I guess they can't show hands in the channel. No. no. Well, they look like a happy couple, I guess. They do. Yeah. All right. Well, sometimes life, um, there are wonderful moments where there's a confluence of events that just seem destined to happen. They just seem like someone intervened from on high and made it so. And uh, that's what happened in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, this is probably one of the most fantastic things I've ever seen, and I love it. Um... From Charlotte, North Carolina, actually, from Newton, North Carolina. Man charged with DUI after ramming into the booze it and lose it unit. No. Irony! A hickory man is facing multiple charges, including drunk while in, uh, driving while intoxicated, after slamming into the DUI mobile. Sunday morning, the incident happened on U.S. 231. Law enforcement officers were conducting a DUI checkpoint when a 1989 red Chevy Camaro rammed into the back of the Booze It and Lose It mobile unit. People were inside the unit at the time. No one was hurt. Uh, police say 21-year-old Douglas Shane Southard was driving the Camaro. Southard was transported to Memorial with non-life-threatening injuries. He was also charged with driving with a revoked license careless and reckless driving, and failure to reduce speed to avoid an accident. He That's was, a charge? Huh. He was also charged with no duh. <laughs> Sorry, your dodgeball coach got killed by two tons of irony. <laughs> <laughs> this It's just, it's glorious, isn't it? It does look like one of those things you see on Facebook, you know, like just... Because oh, this actually is a great image. Or maybe he saw the booze it and lose it thing and said, all right, I think I will. And, uh, <laughs> all right, then. You're maybe giving... he saw it and went, challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for that achievement, baby. <laughs> you know, maybe he was drunk enough that it seemed like an invitation. I'm, you know, I I'm, I'm don't know what I'm more pissed at him about. The drunk driving or ruining an 89 Camaro. It, it looks nice in the picture, the teeny tiny picture we got here. Yeah, it, Being from Long Island, I can't be mad at him for ruining an 89 Camaro because there are a few things that are such good Guido shorthand. <laughs> and maybe the guy was driving drunk and he was just like, Lord, if you want me to stop, give me a sign. <laughs> too vague. It's too vague. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... that's... It's a little oh Jesus Christ. It's it's just such a glorious image though. That that's you, you look at that and you go, that's gotta be Photoshop, but no. That happened. You you know like the cop right now there there's a uh cop right there in front of the picture, you know, he's just like it looks like he's writing something, but no, he's taking a picture with his phone. He's got his phone out going, they're never gonna believe this shit. That that's what a new TV yeah. <laughs> Right there, that's their new ad. Some cop standing in front of that shit being like, <laughs> don't be that guy. Oh. It's, just a, it's just a little caption that says, do we even need to say what the message is? <laughs> We're done here. D well, what do you think his insurance company is going to say in regards to this? They're going to be like, fuck it, really? <laughs> when he I gotta say, what insurance company? <laughs> uh, 
All right, this next one, um, I believe it's Spartanburg, South Carolina. Normally, when, when something like this happens, I have to say, men, brace yourselves, but tonight... Oh, no. Not only is it a women, brace yourselves, not only that, but it's also, again, we're going to be struck with the worst irony ever. So I'm just, prepare yourself. Um... This comes to us from Spartanburg, South Carolina. And if if you can read the headline already, you're reading it correctly. Woman who hid crack pipes in groin Ooh. buttocks ah! during Spartanburg traffic stop. Crack pipe in her crack. Ow. Hmm. A woman, there are places glass doesn't belong. Uh, a woman hid two crack pipes, two, two, ah, 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 in her groin and buttocks area during a Thursday traffic stop. Uh, deputies charged the woman, Ella Jo Price, with possession of drug paraphernalia. A deputy was on patrol at Brock Street near USC Upstate about 8.20 when he pulled over the driver of a red Chevrolet Silverado for failing to come to a complete stop. The driver allowed officers to search his vehicle. Deputies found two metal push rods on the passenger side of the vehicle <laughs> following additional questioning. Price appeared, quote, nervous, initially said no if she had anything in her possession. She finally said she did have something on her and retrieved what deputies described as a small glass pipe commonly used to smoke crack cocaine from her groin area. She then produced another identical pipe from her buttocks area. One, it is not a bag of holding, it is not a pocket. <laughs> Two, there are places glass doesn't go. You know, it's much better than what I thought, because honestly, I just thought there was some perverted cop out there that's just like, you know, no, seriously, there's nothing on me. Uh-huh, I'm going to search every part of you and just happen to come across the one that had something yeah. in up her cooch. <laughs> Ugh. It's just, you know... See, you're going to smoke things out of that. But, so I hope your you know, hygiene's really good. You know, the, the cop would just go home saying, like, you know how you told me to stop searching women's coaches and sexual harassment and abuse? It's finally and paid off! Like this. Screw you, sexual harassment panda! Vindication! Yeah, that's... <laughs> I just... It, what was... I, I, I call it vagication or vaginication, but... Uh, oh... God dang. Doug is just, like, throwing out the groan-worthy ones tonight, I swear. <laughs> Um, you don't really need me. Today. I don't. I don't. I it's, oh, Bye, Tara. Bye. No, I'm never I'm agree with a girl when she says that. Good lord. I okay. I'm sorry. How do you have a girlfriend not know that? I normally keep my mouth shut. It gets me pretty far. I of all the places to go. Shit, the cops are coming. Where can I hide this? To go straight to there. Well, it's kind of the place you expect them not to look. But, but this... Oh, what, Doug? You know, I, I'm just thinking, like, uh, you know, she's got up there. I mean, it's like, clearly they're probably not going to go up there. I mean, what finally convinced her to just be like, you know, okay, I, you know what, if I don't tell somebody, I'm just going <laughs> to die. Sorry. <laughs> I gotta tell someone this shit. You're you're gonna laugh. I mean, you're, you're gonna take me away. You're gonna say I'm crazy. You're gonna put me in handcuffs. But you're gonna laugh. Okay. You're gonna have a story to tell uh, your wife tonight. You're you're gonna love this. People put things in dumb places. Like there was my one of my sister's friends worked in an ER for a year and and had a patient who had a really bad case of the runs and tried to stop it up with a Super Bowl. Huh? It was one of those super high bounce balls. I don't think which, that would work. Which that well, it got stuck. Was it super absorbent? And the the digestive issues did not resolve. And so, you know, by the time they got to the ER, there was a certain amount of pressure built up, and it didn't have a happy ending. Let's just put it that way. Was there a story about your friend, perhaps uh, featured on this show? I or? know, right? Do I <laughs> do I even need Catherine to go do research? You you you're just here. You no. go anecdotes. Here you go. Back before the internet, people were stupid. Even then, it just didn't get put on YouTube. 
I'm convinced, and Catherine, she actually, she's she's in medicine. She tells me it's not true, but I'm convinced that every ER in the entire world has a little drawer, and it's full of stuff, and it's like the lost and found, but mysteriously, no one ever takes stuff for that drawer, and there's a reason why. Because everything in that drawer was found jammed up someone's ass. Or other places now. <laughs> or other places, yes. I'm convinced that drawer exists. She says it's not true, but... She just doesn't want you to know because she keeps giving you those things for Christmas. <laughs> That's beautiful. Speaking <laughs> of Christmas... Why'd you give me a broken light bulb for Christmas? Oh, it's for good luck. It's from my... It's a tradition of my people. Speaking of Christmas, we've got a bonus one tonight, and uh, it's, it's actually not in the story. It's in the video accompanying the story so i'll have to video. i'll have to let you know what's going on yeah we got video on this one um th this the uh the the article seems innocent enough it says shopping mall santas are scaling back uh kids expectations profiling parents yada 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 but you re you've got to th this is this is probably i saved this for last because this is the most awful thing i have seen in a long time let me get the video up here um, where is it? And I've lost it. Hold on. Live video, everyone. Yeah, here it is. Um, it comes in at, on the video, at about the, the 2 minute 48 second mark. And I'll get it up here on the screen in a second. Tonight's yeah, here we go. Two, about family. 2 minutes... Able to skip, skip, but, um, skip. This went out over news. the local live news, right just just so you're aware. Okay, here we go. This is, like, by news, actually. It is. <laughs> I watched this news. <laughs> oh, here it comes. <laughs> she just, on live television, on live news television, said there is no santa on the Oops. news but you know to be fair it's fox news and they always lie <laughs> fair point i mean santa's a fucking socialist hippie anyway he has all these toys and he's giving them away that sounds like socialism to me and he wears all red obviously he's some kind of commie how do I mean, you... Yeah, that's what Rush Limbaugh says all the time. The two things that don't exist are the recession and Santa Claus. I mean, so it, it makes sense to me. How do you do that? How do you get on television and find the words, knowing that children quite possibly are watching? How do you the words come out of your mouth, there is no Santa? Also, as MTV pointed out in the 80s, if you rearrange the letters in Santa, they totally spell Satan, and they both were red. <laughs> So, you know, obviously Fox News is going to have a problem with the jolly fat man. I just, they and I don't mean Rush Limbaugh when I say that. I, I just... I don't think it's that bad, because, I mean, it's not like she's looking right at the TV saying, like, you know, hey, children, come to your kids center. to the TV screen. You know, this is just a little something for them, okay? You ready? Opens up a little book, turns to page one, says, there is no Santa Claus. <laughs> But it's it's still awful, man. I mean, just before for Christmas, you have a lady, the lady on the TV, the lady on the news, who, if you are like five or six, when the people on the news say something, it's important and you should listen. And the lady on the news just said, "There's no Santa Claus." This is the the impression that kids like watch that much news too. I mean, I don't know if, if a kid still believes in Santa and they're watching the news. If a kid's watching the news, chances are he or she doesn't believe in Santa. If a kid's watching Fox News, though, <laughs> well, now, to be fair, it, other, it's not necessarily Fox. Other. It's Fox Chicago. It's the local news. Yeah, that, that's 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 oh, that's, okay. that's the local that's the local Fox affiliate in Chicago, which I got a big got kick out of considering we were having Doug on. Like your your local Fox affiliate, they you're gonna turn on the TV that the the day after Christmas, and there's just gonna be piles of coal all over the studio, <laughs> just mountains of the shit, and they're gonna, people are gonna be on the news like we don't know what the hell happened. 
Someone come dig us the fuck out. We have no goddamn idea what happened. Bill O'Reilly's gonna come out, he's gonna look up, he's just gonna say, Claws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That, that's, so, yeah, that, that's, that was the news for a night. Don't worry, everybody, there is a Santa Claus. And it's Nash. Santa Nash. And, and, and I, whoa, I just broke it. Oh, my God. Yeah, we, totally had, gonna we got it stuck on. We got it stuck on your disappoint face. You might have to restart your video there, Tara. I don't know how to do that on the new Skype you made me get. <laughs> right. Damn technology! All right, come on. Working now it's it's thinking of, about working. It's considering working. I feel so there professional you. here. I know, I know. Live, everybody. I broke the arm off my Christmas hippo. So um. I tried to pull too vigorously. Oh no! Christmas hippo broke. Oh, so so what did we learn tonight, everyone? I I, I think um, the first thing we learned is um, there are many romantic things that can come from one's pants, but um, steak is not one of them. Would we would we use romantic for that? <laughs> um, I'm being generous. Okay. All right. That. Yeah, you know the 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 way to impress your special lady friend, as the dude would say, is is not to cook her any manner of pants meat. <laughs> yeah, just it. If you if you that's have to... that's not what tube steak means. Oh, I, mine cooks on its own. Personally, I mean. Oh. <laughs> um, we learned that uh, if. If you were happen to be skulking in the bushes in a hoodie with a machete, Todd, and and you're not outside Lupa's house, yeah, you you need a better excuse than I was going to get my girlfriend cigarettes. You do. You just you need a better excuse. Um, you probably don't need a machete. <clears throat> what what did you say, Doug? I said I didn't even know Lindsay smokes. I, I, I know smoked. I didn't either. I didn't. Know. And that she was a spider. So uh, yeah, I've learned a yeah. lot. Huh? We're, we're learning all sorts of amazing stuff tonight, I swear. Um, there are many places that are, are good to have sex, but uh, a lot of water slide, not one of them. Hey, you don't know that. You went down the water slide solo. Don't knock it. Not until you try it, Nash. Exactly. Don't judge. Don't be a bigot. That's how we met, because you were a fucking bigot. Don't, don't be that guy. You were in it with me. You were slamming the Navi kin just as hard as I was. No, I respect their life choice. And I respect these people's life choice to fuck on a water slide if they uh, want to. You you fuck on a water slide if that's what floats your boat. Just, you know, maybe wait till the water park's closed or build your own. Um getting meat in your pants, that's too far. <laughs> yes. If they were fucking on the water slide with steaks down their bathing suits, then I would be pissed off. There's like one very specific website for that stuff, I'm sure. <laughs> water slide meat. <laughs> if there isn't, there will be by tomorrow. Yes. Get on that internet. Water slide meat. Make it happen. <laughs> we, we, we learned that um, of all the awful things you can do in a Walmart, uh, there's always someone who can up the ante. Uh, so leaving your child to go get wild, well, leaving your child while fucked up on synthetic hallucinogens. But you know what? At least that child didn't get molested in the Walmart. Yeah. Or encounter somebody, you know, jerking off in the Transformers aisle. Yeah. As we sometimes. Like, at least this story had a somewhat happy ending. The child is safe. He didn't encounter any unwanted genital contact. That we know of. That, that we know oh. of. Yeah. Why is that smiling face always smiling? It does things. Because it's afraid not to. That's oh, a good answer. Oh, God, I hope my lawyer's watching right now. Um, <laughs> we learned that God does, in fact, have a sense of humor, especially when it comes to drunk driving, so that's weird. Well, no. God, God has a sense of dramatic irony. Ah, yes, yes. yes. If you re Dante's Inferno is all about <laughs> symbolic retribution, you will be punished in the manner of your sin. Mm. But it's also pretty funny. I mean, it is a divine comedy. Right. Exactly. This is this is just this is how God amuses himself. 
Because, you know, being God has to be kind of boring sometimes. Or sad. Because we kind of suck sometimes, as we display every week. Yeah. And uh, and finally, I think, I think we learned, um, yet again, it's not a pocket. It's not no. a convenient storage. Except, no. Don't. That I, is inappropriate. Unacceptable. Especially glass. Have you ever seen those pipes they sell at the convenience stores? Those little... Don't. Because they're like that thin glass. They're like, you look at it sideways. Could you not? Could and you it, not? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to... I'm trying to be thorough. No. Well, especially, it'd probably get warm, so it wouldn't just be a pocket, it'd be a hot pocket, most likely. And it'd still be gooey. <laughs> and often, there'd be meat inside, just not this time. I, probably not as tasty if microwaved for three minutes. I... Or stuck in some guy's pants, you know, either one. Yeah. <laughs> and I think we also... Either way, learned... either way, you don't shove a glass crack pipe in there. I, th I think we just learned Doug is more fucked up than me or Tara. <laughs> Good hey, lord, I man. These stories are weird, okay? I think this is... This is like America's Funniest Home Videos. This isn't weird. This is just charming. You know, honestly, <laughs> hot pocket being used as a as a euphemism for vagina isn't that off the reservation to me. I, I I'm pretty confident that there are people all across America using that in regular parlance. And if not, they will. They will be tomorrow. Meme. Yes. I. And so you know, Doug, please apologize to your fiance on my behalf for that. <laughs> oh, she came up with it. I kid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she, she just shouted back on, No, I didn't. <laughs> We're breaking up. <sighs> You're never getting this hot pocket again. Uh, I, I, think, I think Nash is probably really angry at both of us right now, Doug. I, I, I think we've done enough damage for one night. Next, you'll be telling me there's no Santa Claus. I know, right? Well, may Santa Claus bring you all the hot pockets you can handle, everybody. Awesome. <laughs> uh, well, thank you very much for joining us tonight. I don't know why I'm thanking you. Because <laughs> he took some of the heat off me. Thank you. I'm kind of terrified now. Well. I'm, I'm just a little... I'm kind of terrified now. This... Well, that's how we like to end this segment. With you terrified and broken. As long as somebody is torn down and uh, doesn't know where they are at the moment, that's that's all I hope for. And our work is done. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. As long as somebody is is crying to God for mercy by the time I'm off the air, I'm pretty happy. Well, thanks, Doug. <laughs> You're so welcome. And... Nice to meet you, Doug. Nice to meet you, too. We, we work well. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to get together sometime, and, uh, you know... Yeah, we don't need this Nash guy. Can, yeah. You know. No, I, I can totally take advantage of your Hot Pocket. I, I think we can have fun. You're not going to take advantage of my Hot Pocket. No? No, come on. You know, a little glassy, you know. Mm-hmm. A little gooey. Thank you for the offer. I'm, I'm sure something will rise. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good night. Meatballs are especially delicious. Oh. As long as it's not too cheesy. Uh, I can't doubt that one. Thank you both. <laughs> Thank you. Both. Good night, everybody. Good night.